That's why she's spitting. All right guys, I'm gonna do a quick video today. As you can tell, finally have the 260 back. Have the 280YZ uh, body kit by Z-Trix fitted onto the car and pretty much finished. Uh, I'm gonna go through uh, a couple of things, I guess, to talk about what's gonna happen with the Z, what's going on right now. Um, I haven't been doing videos because I'm in the process of moving again. Um, you know, we're staying temporarily with my wife's uh, uh, mom's house and yeah we're only here temporarily and I yeah this car is only gonna be here for a week we're transitioning down to the Springs we're up in Denver basically uh, it's a long journey uh, for this car uh, I think it can make it I'm still worried about it because you know it's still a 48 year old car <laughs> uh, but yeah uh, fiberglass that is also one of the worries but yeah um, wheels are on. They're turned right now because I had to come at an angle up the driveway and then turn <laughs> to straighten out. Uh, but I have the spacers on there, so the fitment is really good. It is a little high. But that's so that we can clear everything without worrying. Um, the rears are sitting pretty good. Technically, they can go lower, and I think they still will clear. I still have to trim back here, if I remember correctly, to make that happen. But I'm not going to worry about that for a while. So one thing, so this is now on BC Racing coilovers. And in the future, I am going to go for like a hybrid air setup. So whatever that entails, I'm going to cross that bridge when I get to it. But that is the plan. Um, I think before that I want to try and get this painted and uh, I am going to paint it the blue that's on the car it's 305 metallic blue or 305 light blue whatever um, and this is my favorite blue on all of these cars and I don't know why I just loved it ever since I you know discovered it uh, it's basically what my 280 was um, yeah so as you can probably tell this was one of the cars that actually had the riv nut, ri like rivets with the trim piece that goes all the way down the car. So I have the, had those welded up. They did a good job. And then, uh, so I'm going to put some primer over it. Probably just going to do a stripe down the side so it looks like it was meant to be. But, um, but the car is eventually going to be repainted uh, in those areas on the sides. The top's probably fine. Uh, headlights, I am so sorry guys because I was supposed to do a video on doing the headlights But I didn't I couldn't I didn't have enough time to do it properly so I have All the wiring mess up here for the wiring harness. I showed everyone in one of my previous videos and we have um, Just some wires pretty much taped up and everything like Freddie helped me with that and I really appreciated him helping me with it because I've never dealt with it before. Uh, but the headlights do work. I'll turn them on real quick. So right now it's just through projectors. Which I feel like that's all you technically need. I think there is a way to make the whole thing light up, but I think that is plenty of light. Like, it's almost too much light. Oh, God. Gotta reach hazards. I'm pretty sure she didn't mean it. Okay, sit down. Okay, I'm gonna close the door, watch out. Beep. Ah, no 
Do you love the car? Baby. Do you like the car? Yeah. Yeah? Do you love it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is my daughter Rowan, and this is the reason why I wanted my car to be a 2 plus 2. So I still have the back seats for her. Uh, I need to find a proper car seat that'll actually work in the back. So she's not going to be riding with me just yet. Um, Rowan, turn off the lights. I don't want you killing the battery. We have to turn off the lights. Okay? Keep those off. Don't turn that again, okay? <laughs> so, a um, couple of things that I want to try and get done. So I want to swap out the hood for the 280 hoods that have the vents, since I do have my carbon fiber vents that I want to put on it. Uh, it'll help for better, better airflow and uh, hopefully cool down the engine bay a little bit. Uh, obviously we're going to be doing the swap parts, my Mishimoto radiator, the fans, I need to get the pigtails still first and whatever else I need for that, uh, the intake, I need to get a new set of headers because I'm going to keep the head that's on the car right now and they are the square port so I need different headers from what I actually had before. Um, what was the other things? Uh, I have the wiring harness that I think I'm still going to try and use. Um, should be fine. Uh, soon though I need to figure this out because I need to drill holes for the quick button releases just like what I did to the gas door. Because um, I need the... I don't know if, what happened to my brackets but I'm missing brackets so I don't know if I'm going to do that anytime soon. Technically the car drives fine with it because the hood keeps those inspection lids down. Um, I don't have the carbon fiber cowl since I do have AC and heat. Uh, so since those are usable, I'm not going to block them off. Uh, I did sell it to a friend and I think he's going to love it for his build because I remember he was asking me about carbon fiber parts a while back. I put on my Miata wiper arms um, just because. You guys already know about the mirrors. I need to clean up some things with this. Obviously all the fiberglass parts. Clean up off the paint or uh, I guess it doesn't matter if they're just going to be repainted. I need to figure out what's wrong with this. Why it won't, why it won't go in more. Because I do eventually want to have a custom bumper made. And that's using the air shock, like original air shock supports or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's basically just going to be a tube, uh, like almost like a tube chassis, like bumper, and hopefully have like a jacking point on the back of it uh, or underneath it. Uh, I think that will be pretty nice. Eventually, going to do the scalar diffuser. I'm still trying to decide if I actually want to do the spoiler. Um, I kind of want to, but I also kind of ha like how it looks without a spoiler. I'm debating on actually uh, tinting the windows. The windows are still fine. What are you doing, Rowan? You gonna pop the window? Yep. If you guys don't know about the 2 plus 2s, uh, that you can actually pop the back windows. Thank you, Rowan. The coops cannot do that, so that's kind of a, a bonus feature, I guess. Oh yeah, I have the headlight covers. I have the brackets on there. Um, the driver's side fits really good. I got it to fit really nicely, but I took it off because it looks weird without the passenger side. But this side, I have to fix the brackets and then get rid of the adhesive and redo it uh, because the way I did it wasn't correct. I tried slapping them all on there all at once when you're supposed to do one at a time and then the headlight cover kind of has a little bit of play into it so it kind of flexes to where you get it to fit how you want it to. So once you get the brackets in there in their exact positions that you need according to the holes on the headlight covers then you put them on. So I messed up. So I have to redo that. I have double sided tape to hopefully work for that. I hope it doesn't fly away, but we'll find out. Um, I do have to cut more of the rear of the fenders. This side doesn't actually make contact, but the driver's side does. When I make left-hand turns, you can actually see. And just 
flexes the whole thing and it's kind of scary but um, I'm trying to deal with it uh, until I actually have all my tools because all my tools is where we're going to be moving to um, but I'm still going to cut this out farther because I'm going to figure out how to make these work behind those real, uh, uh, the wheel wells so that way I have the extra turn radius and technically extra cooling like uh, venting I guess for the brakes a lot of things like I really want to do a lot of things with this car I want to you know upgrade the suspension upgrade the brakes obviously I want to upgrade the engine but that's not going to be for a while so I want to make this engine last until I save up for the engine that I want to do which I'm still kind of undecided because I keep thinking of other ideas so I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to do an update for um, yeah I mean that's pretty much it for now hopefully though kind of depends on how quickly I can save up for the things I want to do for this first thing is pretty much paint paint then the little projects that I want to do myself like you know behind the, the rear wells um, yeah and then add extra aero pieces further down the road. That's probably not going to be till the end of the year or next year, honestly, from how things are going right now. But if you're following me on YouTube, thank you very much. Um, it really does help, and it makes me feel like I'm actually making content that you guys actually like, you know? So it's hard to make content, especially when you you have such a busy life. And... Yeah, I'm moving, so that's... I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know how that goes. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't subscribed, and you will see more of this car and what we end up doing with it. So, peace. Mm -hmm.